okay? How does an all unit discount impact your EOQ analysis? Okay, this is again the same process. Imagine you have the basic EOQ that does not have any discount, does not have any back order and everything, just a basic EOQ. And suddenly your supplier says, if you order above a thousand units, I will give you this much discount, okay? How does it impact your EOQ analysis? This is just a reminder, okay? I'm still going to stay. Imagine my optimal order quantity was more than a thousand, like a thousand two hundred. Okay, I'm already in the discount region, and I'm enjoying the discount that supplier gives me. So this discount will only drive my cost down. It will not affect my optimal order quantity. I will still stick with the one thousand two hundred and enjoy the discount. Okay, but if I am below that one thousand. Okay, imagine my e my basic EOQ was 800. Now the supplier says, okay, if you order more than 1,000, I will give you uh, this much discount. So I will save that 800 separate and calculate the total cost with it. Okay, so that's one thing. Now I also want to see if I will save any money if I order up to that discount level. So instead of 800, if I order 1,000, which is the lowest level I can do to realize the discount and the, the, the savings, okay? So I will order a little bit more and reach to 1,000 and see now what happens to the total cost. If total cost cost doesn't, doesn't go below what I originally had with 800, I will stick with 800. If not, I will order 1,000. So the only thing that happens is you will also have a second value of order, second order quantity to compare. So you take your EOQ, you look at the cost, you also look at the uh, second order quantity that you have chosen to take the discount and compare the cost. Okay, that's how it impacts our EOQ analysis.